Good morning, this is Minister Paul. It is 9.54 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on 8-13-2012, and I'm coming to you from Sacramento, California. I've been given another um, revelation and a prophecy. Um, I was given this map last night, and I just left it open because, you know, our flesh nature wants to make it bigger, you know, because we don't want to be wrong and have stones thrown, uh, thrown at us, but, you know, I, I trust God and he gives me signs, and we're going to go into that sign. So take a look at this map, uh, the bottom being, uh, this screen matic may cut it off, but this Muscat and Qatar, and over here Egypt, and on the top being Vienna and Austria, and over here being Italy, and over here, um, and to the east being Islamabad, right here. This area is 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 in in danger, and again, I'm going to back it up with the word and a sign. Uh, that's how I've always done it. And so what should we do when we're given this sign by the Lord? Just picture this map and pray for these people. These people are not evil people that God wants to send straight to hell. God said we need to change our mindset. He told me two things. We need to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Okay, daily. So when you look at this map, don't just sit there and eagerly wait for it to happen. Whatever is going to happen in this area, do you notice that God is making the map smaller and smaller? And his prophecies are being fulfilled quicker and quicker like the birth pangs of the pregnant women. Pray for these people that their souls should be saved eternally. That's what Jesus Christ said. He said, go around all the world. Well, this is part of the world. So... I left it up, and when I woke up, God woke me up at 3.10 a.m. This is four nights in a row, people, where I have been woken up at 3.10 a.m. And so, t remember this map. I'll try to get back to it, but there it is. Something's going to happen in there. I, and he, this time, he didn't give me a time frame, but he, he did wake me up at 3.10 a.m. So at exactly 3.10 a.m. on 8.13.2012, I'm listening to my iPod, and this song came on. Now here's what's going to really startle you. I found it on, uh, uh, I, what's really odd is I, I, I went over to, to find it in my, <coughs> um, in my iTunes. It's not in my iTunes. Here, here's the whole album. It's called The Rise Shine. It's not in here bear witness so but somehow it, it now follow me on this I'm woken up at exactly 3 10 a.m. and I, I went to bed listen listening to the entire book of Acts and I was instantly asleep I'm woken up um, I want to say four hours later again exactly around the 3 a.m. time it was exactly 3 10 a.m. I'm instantly sober-minded and awake and so I, I just googled the song Arise Shine by Shekinah Glory and here it is and I said well Lord I, 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 I'm, this song began playing you have to understand how an iPod works when you choose a playlist it'll play till that that playlist is uh, is done which with me is always the Holy King James Bible or uh, a music playlist and then once it's done it stops it, it stops playing but what happened was I'm listening to the book of Acts, Acts 1, Acts 2, Acts 3, I think I remember into Acts 4, and I'm asleep. But, it, you know, and it, and it's, but at 3 a.m., which have been four hours of playing, somehow, this is a miracle, saints, I promise you, it had switched to the music playlist of a song that's not even in my iTunes. This song right here, Arise, Shine. And I, I just stared at it because it just it just woke me up. It was so loud it woke me up. And I'm like, Lord God, what does it mean? So I went I woke up and I prayed this morning. I said, Is this something you want me to release? And he said, Yes. 
So let's play this song quickly because you know what it starts with? A scripture. Let's play it. You ready? And, and, and notice that, that, notice the, the, the channel is called New Season uh, with nine videos. There's a, a message in this. There always is. Hallelujah. He's, he says, Hallelujah. Do you see how that could just startle you awake? Because it's supposed to be, it, it, I don't even for one thing know how it got to a music playlist when I'm on the Bible playlist. It's, it's, it's impossible to do. Isaiah 60 verse 1 says, Arise. He says, Isaiah 60 verse 1 says, Arise, shine. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. If you are in a dark place tonight, lift up your head and begin to shout. So let's go straight to Isaiah 60, because there's my word confirmation. Amen. Do you see how God works? Arise, shine, for the light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness to people, but the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and the kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about, and see all they gather together themselves. They come to thee, thy son shall come from afar, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Um, then thou shalt see, and, and flow together, and thine heart shall fear, and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The multitude of camels shall come cover thee. The dromedaries of Midian and Ephah, all they from Sheba shall come, and they shall bring gold and incense, and they shall show forth the praises of God. All the flocks of Kadar shall be gathered together. I'm just going to read the whole thing just in obedience. Shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Nabioth shall minister unto thee, and they shall come up with acceptance on mine altar and I will glorify the house of my glory who are these that fly as a cloud and as the doves to their windows surely the isles shall wait for me and the ships of Tarshish first to bring thy sons from afar their silver and their gold with them unto the name of the Lord thy God and to the Holy One of Israel because he have glorified thee and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls and their king shall minister unto thee for in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor I have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be opened continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish thee. Now go ahead, for, for brevity's sake, please go ahead and read this whole scripture and tell me what revelations you get. Um, so there's the word confirmation. I want to tell you, I showed you the earthquake map. Let's go to California. And I said California, uh, in my last prophecy, I said California, I've been focusing on this Lake County, uh, hum, um, Clear Lake, uh, Fort Bragg area. And I said California will get hit. Now let me show you what God has shown me. The, th this Wi Fi in Lake County immediately burned uh, uh, it has zero percent containment I can literally look out my window and see the smoke you can't get any closer than this this Lake County is where I've been pointing to over and over again <coughs> a matter of fact uh, look it jumped to 5,000 acres uh, just last night just like that this area is, is going to be really bad it uh, here, here's a picture of it. Uh, I'll put a map to this. This is where I think the earthquake's going to hit up there by the geysers and stuff. Highway 20 east of Clear Oaks. Um, so this is the latest details as of this morning. 480 homes threatened. Again, it's up there. Um, all these fires are breaking out all around us. Where? Where? right here right where I've been keep doing this over and over again this area is on fire so I'm gonna show you what God showed me on these earthquakes I'm just gonna be obedient and bold in my gifting 
they're gonna I told my wife uh, you know everybody wants to know what's gonna happen but I'm not gonna say anything till I hear from the Lord well the Lord has confirmed it these earthquakes that have been happening over here they're gonna begin to happen over here and then they're, and this is the second time he's told me this they're gonna go like in a circle see God isn't following man's lines he's following you know his ways are higher than our ways so they're gonna come up through this and through just watch this and through Mexico and into California and and then up into Alaska they're gonna instead of see this circle God said they're gonna start going this way this way and, and I'm, I'm just telling you what God has shown me like I said okay and also this man He's just quoted a new vision of an America in which prosperity is shared. This is posted today uh, when I was woken up at 310. That's a 13. Just It's another sign. These are just signs, people. Um, uh, just remember what, what, what the prophecy was that the Antichrist would say. And I'm not saying he's the Antichrist. I'm just sticking to the facts of what God has showed me that the the antichrist is going to say that we could all share our resources but america doesn't need a new vision he's saying going back and i'm and i'm not trying to slam this man i'm just using discernment please understand he says that do we want to go back to the way it used to be well before he took office it seemed to me that we had more rights and freedoms and it seems to me that he's trying to sit, take away our freedoms and rights that's my personal opinion and I hope you're not offended by that I'm not adding or taking it away to that uh, I, I'm not sure I want a new America okay and I don't have a vision of a new America I like it just as it was before he took office so we seem to have more rights and freedom so we've covered the arise shine which led me at woke up at 3 10 a.m. it's a new season we've covered Isaiah 60 um, we've covered California and we've covered this uh, earthquake watch now what can we do pray we've covered this you can go back to this on 7 8 it says a vision from God Obama won the November election tribulation end of age prophecy the date on that is July 8th now here's the thing we have a, a Catholic running against a Mormon that we really don't know much about and I think why in this the key to everything has been prayer the key to this vision this is not a dream this is a vision was God said to pray God said to pray I mean I, I think it, it, it's irrelevant who wins we should be praying anyway amen but the key to this was we were to pray go watch it. we were to pray the key to to this prophecy of this fire and earthquakes up here in Lake County and Clear Lake and Fort Bragg in Oregon is to pray not not to uh, sensationalize the key to this right here is to pray the key to this is to pray so I have one more thing in closing. God gave me a word called compromise. I'm going to tell you, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I'm not going to compromise. I heard the word compromise over and over again. So I looked up the um, definition this morning. Uh, look at this. It, it, it's potential danger or disgrace that brings exposure to danger or disgrace. It's something accepted rather than wanted. Something that somebody accepts because what was wanted is unattainable I'm telling you this is straight from the throne how many people here on YouTube have compromised their beliefs or compromised what they thought because they didn't want to lose any friendship remember that word you didn't want to lose any friendship and remember this map but because you wanted to be popular you'd rather not lose friendships well I'm here to tell you I'd rather lose friendships 
and and speak the truth in love i'm telling you everything i've been spoken is love than to compromise why my walk with god when i stand before god i'm alone i refuse to compromise my walk with god to contone to your beliefs